Hey guys, Godric here from Dragon Masters. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a video today. We got a request uh, for how to do the puzzle piece weave. Uh, so we're going to do a short tutorial on that. But before we get into that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe uh, to this channel. Uh, check us out on Facebook too, Dragon Masters on Facebook. Going to be live streaming quite a bit over the next few weeks as a uh, prep for Christmas orders. Uh, so check us out on there uh, if you want to see some of the stuff that we're doing. Uh, today we're going to be learning the puzzle piece weave. Uh, so here's some of the stuff that you can do with it. Um, we are going to be creating the puzzle piece in the middle. Um, this is a three colored one, so you can kind of see what that looks like. Um, there's a couple of other things you can do as well. This is kind of a modified one. It's a little offset, um, but you can see there. You can do it in paracord or macrame. And there's one also. This is the horizontal weave. You can also do it on the vertical weave as well. And your puzzle piece will just stay right in the middle of the belt going down. And you can also, if you want to, only do it on one side and not do the puzzle piece on the other. I um, mean, you can get some pretty interesting uh, patterns there. So to start with on this, um, you need four colors or four strands of one color and then as many as you want of the other ones for this demonstration purposes just doing a two color one. Um, you'll notice that my strands are not set up in order. This is very important. You have to have this to do the puzzle piece weave. Um, so I've got three of one color here and then the other color and then another one of the first color. Uh, so what you're going to do to set this up, we're going to be taking the one over here on the far left of the orange and it's going to end up going underneath the blue and then we're going to do the same thing over here on the far orange. And so once we once we weave the first one through and get it set up up here, this weave is essentially just a normal weave like you've done a million times. Uh, you're just doing some fancy footwork up here at the top. Um, so we'll I'll weave a couple out and show you. So I'm going to start and just do your normal under over weaves until you get here. And then I'm going to take my orange, bring it under the blue and then just keep weaving until we get here and then do the same thing. I'm pulling my orange one underneath the blue and then you just finish the row out like normal. And then take your next one and then from here if you did it right it'll just be like a normal weave. You won't have to do anything else um, special or anything else fancy. It's just your normal under over weave once you do the very first row. Um, so we'll weave a couple out here so you can see it. Um, something to consider with this one though, um, if you are doing it on the vertical weave, um, if you're doing it where the cro or where the puzzle piece is going to stay in the middle, the puzzle piece is not symmetrical. Um, you'll see once we do it here in a minute there is a one side is a little bit bigger than the other um, and there's nothing you can really do about it. That's just how it is. When you do it in the vertical or the, yeah, the horizontal weave, you don't notice it as much. Um, it's pretty noticeable though when you do it in the horizontal weave. Weave a couple more out here so you can see it. Don't mind my colors. I kind of just went and picked two random ones that I had a lot of um, from my closet. So and this is just kind of some scrap material right here. We'll do one more or two more rows, but after the next row, you'll be able to see the puzzle piece forming. Uh, you can do this with a fewer strands if you want to. You could take a blue off of each side. The minimum you need is four of each color if you're doing a two colored one. Um, for this one, I just added a little bit more so you could see it a little bit better. Uh, but you can see the puzzle piece forming there. Do one more.
And there you have it. And there's the puzzle piece weave. So, and you just keep weaving that out like normal, um, and it'll automatically go from here. So the, to recap, the big things you need to make sure you do, set, set it up right up here. You're going to take your first strand of your orange and go under the blue, and the first strand of the orange on this one and go under the blue. And then from there, the pattern just emerges on its own. Um, if this was helpful, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you want to see more things like this, and again, follow us on Facebook. We'll be live streaming throughout uh, this month and next month as we have a lot of orders to do coming up for the holidays. So thanks for watching, guys.